Six Class A National Parks in Uganda. Two of them are protected forests. Besides no, the famous this, Pindi Impenetrable Forest, this, eh? the other is Chibale Forest National Park. Like is the case now with many parks, the road to Kibale is now a tarmac forest road. A nature walk, you can go into the forest and walk. You can go for butterfly watching. There are those that love butterflies, they go in for butterfly uh, watching. And then there are those who love birds, they can also go for bird watching. You might have guessed by now that forest parks are centrally about primates like chimps and gorillas. But wait a moment. Coming to Chivali is about chimps, but more than that. In this part of our excursion into Kibale forest, let's first of all walk a little bit through the forest as we listen to the forest sounds. After this, we attended a forest-based class under the canopy. It was a mixture of ecology, some botany, and even some economics. Let's start with the ecology. When you enter a forest, you may just see trees, but each tree has a reason as to why it is where it is, from big to small. For example, when you see here, you see that? Is there growing? But it is encouraging others to come up, like this one. This one is a shade demand. It needs shade to grow. And it goes very, very slowly. Now, by the time this fellow has reached his maturity, it will die, and then this one takes over. Mm. So, as it again grows, there are other species like, like uh, this one. This one is a very shady tolerant, it's called an injury. By the time this one dies, the other guys also will be there. And that is how the forest keeps regenerating provided it has not been interfered with by human beings. Kibale Forest was partly planted 20 years ago by the Uganda Wildlife Authority and those efforts are bearing fruit. The next lesson in the forest is understanding what the popular reference to carbon trade has to do with a forest or trees for that matter. This, what you see this? This is carbon. If you cut a tree, you are letting carbon out. If you burn it, you are releasing carbon in the atmosphere. So, as it is growing, it is absorbing carbon from the atmosphere and storing it there. Now, as the ua, Every after three years, we do come in to assess how much carbon has been stored into this forest. How do you measure that? Uh, here, we staff have been trained. There are specialized machines that we use. But uh, just briefly to tell you that uh, when we come, we look at the size of the tree, the stem, this one. You look at the size, eh? you look at the size of the crown. We measure how big it is. Now, different species, tree species have different growth, growth characteristics. So, in the system, it was designed that per species, there's a rate of carbon absorption. And after we've done that, then validators come to see the methodology we've used. And if it is well, then you qualify to take your carbon on the market. As of now, uh, between 2017 and 2019, 220, we were able to collect uh, 221 tons of carbon per hectare. And uh, in the whole project area in the three years, we were able to collect 236,000 tons of carbon. Now, when that carbon is put on the market, we were able to collect uh, around 1 billion, approximately 1 billion. I hope you are still with me in this forest classroom. Finally, why might it be wise to plant certain trees and not others? Here is the economics. Behind me are very two important tree species of planting. We have this, this is a Tunas Africana. 
This tree is very important that it, it is used in the treatment of prostate cancer. Then the other one, this one, is Robugia ugandensis. It is also medicine for many human diseases. But of key is the corona virus. You had our friend, the professor of, of Umbala University. Mm, this is the tree is using to manufacture Covidex. So, if we really embark on planting these indigenous tree species, this is where we are going to benefit. One, if you have a forest of medicinal plants, you will be far, far more better than a person planting pine in the long run. In this way, the person planting a, a, a pine will wait for the 30 years. And he's alone, moreover, the, the forest is, is for one man. And after 30 years, he will cut the forest down, the soils will be degraded because of their uh, bad growth characteristics. But if you plant this one, already you can see that it's supporting other species from, I mean, it's supporting others to grow. But uh, economically, as you remove these branches, if you remove this branch, for instance, this branch here, and you take it to Professor Guang, you will get money because you are giving him a raw material. But uh, uh, in doing so, you will be taming it to go to go springs. In case you thought going to forest parks is only about primates, we have just given you a sample of what more there is. But forests are certainly about primates. In the second part of our journey to Kibale Forest National Park, we bring you the chimps. It's claimed they are our closest relatives. And we saw two young chimps scrabbling over a toy the way your kids might do. Ah! 